get off the field right now. Yeah. Sooner or later, you're going to have to play football, big boy. Just snap the ball. Yeah. Is this what you want? Ah. Ah. This belongs to the defense. All right, so the point of that commercial or a clip of it was to guess what Madden that's from. If you guess the right Madden, whoever is the first to do that, well, just like in King's Court, we'll get golden chat for a day. Anyway, this is the off, um, the midseason report. Most teams have played eight games, except for me and a couple others, because we haven't done our week nine game yet. This is obviously Diddy, but you already know. Now I'm going to start with the standings. In the AFC you got Melo who is the only undefeated team left in the league at 8-0. Then you got, the AFC is just harder. Let's just put that out there right now. Um, more competition there. Homer is the second seed. Well him and um, San Diego are actually tied for that. So one second, one third. It's saying Jaguars right now. I don't know if that's based off like a... Uh, I don't know what it's based off of. Maybe it's conference. Yeah, it is conference. He has a better conference record. So, Homer second. Mike Berry's third. The Titans have the fourth best record in the AFC, but they're actually the fifth seed. Steelers are the fourth seed. And if the playoffs were to end, I mean, to begin right now, surprising as fuck, but Dims would be the sixth seed. Now, me and D2 haven't played a game yet. If I were to win, then I would be that in that 60th position. Then, you get outside of the um, race but still fighting, is you got TJC and D-Boy. They were both 4-2, and two, and they've lost their last two games. So, Week 10 is going to be very crucial for them. And then you got the bums bringing up the rear end of this um, conference. Like, Roy is 1-8. Wow. All that talking is 1-8. Whatever, bro. And Els, Els has scored 132 points and he's given up 443. That explains everything right there. That, that, that's amazing. That's really amazing. Now you look at the NFC. A um, little bit easier. That was a mistake. Hold on. Alright. So you got a three-way tie between the Cowboys... 49ers and Rams, and it says that JD's first. Let me just check this again. Uh, Division 2 and 0, Conference 5 and 2. I don't get it. it shouldn't 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 V1 be first in that case? I'm just gonna say V1's first because I don't understand it. And then JD would be second. And YDK would be fifth. That leaves the Redskins at sixth. So the wildcard team, they, I mean, like, the way it's working is in the NFC East and the NFC South, I mean, the NFC East and the NFC West, you got two good teams. So one is the division leader and one's the wildcard. It's, it's good to see that Vince actually lived up to my um, prediction of him, knock on wood, making the playoffs. Because I predicted to him to be 11 5, and when he started 0 3, I was like, what the fuck is going on? But since his loss to me in week three, he has really stepped it up and has won six straight. One second. Okay, so where was I? Falcons and the Panthers. I don't know who leads um, the division. Let me check on that. It should based on it should be based on division wins since they're in the same division. And if by judging by this. It would be Ace who leads that division. So Ace is third. If the playoffs were to begin right now, D1 would be out because the two wild cards are above him. So you may have a problem seeing that the other two divisions are stacked. You may want to focus on that. Your record's decent, but you're actually not in the playoffs before it to begin today. Neither is the Eagles. It's the shitty Vikings. Yes, I'm calling you shitty Philly because you're under 500. But then again. You had, a, you, had a, you had someone play CPU, so eh, I, I, I guess whatever. But um, you're fourth, so you would have um, a playoff spot, but the two, five, and three teams would not. So now, um, what can I do? 
Let's look at the season stats. Let's look at the league leaders in certain posi um stuff. Uh, NFL. So Philip Rivers has the best QB rating in the league. Um, Ryan. T no, I'm assuming it's Ryan Tannehill. No, it's, no, it's not. Sad Bradford has passed for the most touchdowns. Um, and he's also passed for the most yards. And just for a joke, let me look at interceptions. Oh my goodness, 41 interceptions, John Skelton. I know people have bounced all over the place, but it's not surprising to see a Viking with 40 picks because that's what Philly does. He throws a hell of a lot of picks. Let's look at the rushing stuff. Um, best rushing. I'm surprised actually that there's not more 1,000 yard rushers yet. Chris Johnson with his cheese, obviously. And then the most touchdowns would go to... Reggie Bush. He only has 371 yards rushing? Oh, okay. I thought he had a lot more because he was the player of the week all that time and shit. Must be from all those receiving touchdowns and whatnot. Speaking of receiving, let's go to that. Calvin Johnson has... is probably pretty much doubling everybody. Not quite, but you get the point. And that's because Philly monopolizes him in his game plan. He only throws to him. Um, touchdowns, he probably leads in touchdowns as well. He's tied with Andre Johnson. Um, let's go to the defensive. Oh, it's hard to do this shit with one hand and hold the camera. Um, let's go to defensive stuff. Michael Huff leads in tackles. Uh, I'm not gonna go tackles for a loss. Sacks leader, um, is Brian Arakpo. Sucks that he's out for the season in real life. I know that hurts you, Vince. Um, interceptions leader, Sean Lee with 13. I think the NFL record is 14. I forget, but is it, is it Night Train Lane or something? I don't know, but he's, probably, he's gonna break it. Um, what else is there to look at? Force fumbles. Leader of that is Derek Johnson with four. Um, fumble recoveries, uh... Hold on just one second once again. Okay, so WNSC just called me. Which is why the video cut off. So, let's see here. As I was saying, fumble recoveries, there's a bunch of people at two. Um, I'm assuming nobody has a blocked um, kick yet or anything. Nah. Safeties. No one has a safety yet? Oh. A bunch of people at one. Okay, what else should I do? Um, the trade deadline's over. Uh, I guess I can go through team stats. This is probably the last category I'll go through. If I can think of anything else later on, um, then I'll do it. Um, this is offense. So, the highest scoring team, I mean, the, the most yards offensively goes to the Rams. No, that's total yards. Never mind, okay. Offensively, the, the best, the most go to, yeah, I'm last because I haven't played yet. Um, oh, still the Rams. Okay. The top passing attack goes to the Rams again. Top rushing attack goes to the Cowboys, who scores the most points per game. That goes to the Dolphins. Okay, that's enough offensive shit. Let's go to the defense. Uh, I have the best defense as far as yards allowed. I already know that. Um, pass, passing yards allowed, that's also me. Rushing yards allowed, that would be ace, that's surprising. Uh, points allowed, that's mellow. Most sacks, that's probably mellow. Scroll up. Uh, what? Roy? That's a surprise. Uh, fumble, ah, fuck that. Interceptions. 
Most interceptions goes to the Titans. Well, judging by Sean Lee's 13 interceptions, I can see why. Now let's go to conversions. Uh, best team at third down percentage goes to the Chargers. So he has a lot of go-to plays in that situation. All right, fuck conversions. Let's go to I uh, forget red zone. Um, I forget that he. Turnovers. Best turnover differential goes to the Dolphins. They probably have the most takeaways as well. I'm about to end this video. Uh, we'll go to, actually, no, the Titans do. Those are the interceptions once again. And the most giveaways goes to. Ugh. The Raiders. Minus 30 turnover differential. Wow. Anyway, that's the wrap-up of this video. I didn't really know what to talk about after this. Um, so, yeah. I'm also coming up with another video that will be posted later on today. It's called... If, you're, if you've ever seen before Monday Night Football, if you've ever seen Come On Man, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to post that video basically just addressing the lean of the league through the first um, half of the season. So, yeah. Once again, comment on that on the video what that commercial's from, which Madden that is, and you'll get free golden chat for a day. And I'm out.